Supporters of needle exchange programs say they provide clean needles to injection drug users to prevent the spread of diseases. But an Indiana County prosecutor said he didn't want an exchange program after seeing the damage done to a neighboring community. It was never a exchange program to start with. It was a needle giveaway. Madison County, Indiana voted to defund their needle exchange program earlier this year. We were having children getting stuck with needles in our park. We were having people trying to mow their grass, picking up bags with used heroin needles and getting stuck. The county's exchange program had given out over 220,000 needles in two years. But the county health department said only about half were turned in. Cummings says this led to an increase in overdoses in his community. A needle exchange program should make it easier for people to do heroin. It should educate people. It should provide t- treatment options that are available. That is the type of program that Washington, D.C. Free Clinic HIPS runs. We foster a non-judgmental environment where if somebody eventually was interested in stopping using drugs, we could help facilitate that in a way that most spaces could not. HIP says they give away about 26,000 clean syringes a month and does not require a dirty needle to get a new one. A lot of folks that think that we're enabling, we try to talk a little bit about the benefits everyone receives if somebody has a sterile syringe. But in the nation's capital, where there are three clinics with needle exchange programs, heroin-related overdose deaths more than doubled between 2014 and 2016, according to the district's chief medical examiner. Arnold says that's because needle exchange programs just make it easier for users to take drugs if they don't have to turn in a dirty needle. HIV, it did help that. I wouldn't, I'm not trying to say it didn't help with that. But that's a treatable disease. Death is not.